thing about the program that I loved was that I did feel like it was safe to make mistakes. It was incredibly collaborative, supportive, fun. Columbia was the one that talked the most about writing and directing actors. I just felt that it was the interesting place to go. I just liked how, like, th that it was an intimate kind of conservatory feeling and a really eclectic group of, of students and a really eclectic group of professors. I think when I entered into the school, it was scary for me to share creative work and I felt a little bit more vulnerable and I, the process of feeling safe and feeling supported um, and feeling like I was going to leave the room with more than I entered the room um, really opened me up. The truth is that Columbia's program has always been steeped in this idea that we are telling stories, we are storytellers. And it doesn't matter whether you're a producer, a director, a screenwriter, that storytelling is at the heart of everything that we do. So the three concentrations are writing, directing, and producing. And uh, in your first year, uh, all students take all the same classes. I know personally I came into the program strictly as a writer with more of a novelistic approach or having you know a fiction background and the idea of taking directing really allowed me to write in a more visual way. My Columbia experience really more than anything gave me an understanding of myself as a director. I chose Columbia for the opportunity to get a degree in creative producing but to also learn about filmmaking as a whole. Storytelling isn't like an, it's not like a luxury, it's, it's, a, it's a necessity and I, I don't, couldn't really tell you why except for that I know that everyone who teaches here feels that way. There's a methodology here at Columbia that we know works. We have the same philosophy as a lot of art schools do which is let's use sketch paper which is the, our equivalent is video. You teach with lessons. You'd make mistakes. There would be no fear. That's the way we teach filmmaking. I think what Columbia offers is a kind of atmosphere to stop your life in a practical way for two years at least, three years, four years, and really dig deep into um, your own work habits and your own stories. People started to take notice when we won the Best Student Film Oscar for something like five out of seven years, um, which is really unprecedented. And then it took another leap when there was this one year where we were told that 60% of all the short films being shown at Sundance were Columbia films. We have all of the tools that are necessary, which is a strong faculty, a great classroom experience, and the tools of production that are necessary in terms of HD equipment, lighting, and a studio, and various other things. But beyond that, it's really about empowering a student to understand who, what their voice is, and then what are the things that they need to come to bear to make that vision happen. So you're coming out with this portfolio of, of feature-length screenplays, of television pilots of television spec scripts. The feel of the whole place is that it's very supportive and collaborative. It's also um, quite a diverse program. Most of the people in my class, I think, were from some, somewhere else, like the whole of New York. It's like a little microcosm of New York, really. The only thing I've ever wanted to do is make films. Um, for brief periods of my life, I wanted to be an astronaut or a truck driver or whatever. I think what's exciting about film is you can be all of these things. For me, I know I just feel like I have to tell stories in order to even understand, you know, human nature, or to understand the world. It's the dream of losing yourself for that time that you're in the cinema and seeing something other than your own life, but then sharing your life with whatever's on the screen. Looking back at like cave paintings, these are the things that keep us going. These are the things that we learn from. It's, it's the, the stuff that teaches us how to live, really. These stories, these anecdotes, these fables. And right now in our culture, film is one of the premier ways of storytelling.